Hey guys, Eric Martel here. As you know, I am all about financial freedom. And today I'm going to talk about the 15 reason why real estate is the best investment. As I was looking for financial freedom, I tried all kinds of different businesses from a low carb grocery store to a gourmet sauce company. And finally back to real estate, low carb, really. And through all that, I've learned that real estate is by far the best investment in order to generate passive income and achieve financial freedom. Even though it's been a difficult journey to amass all these properties, it's been nothing short of amazing. And that's why real estate is my favorite investment of all time. You've heard about how real estate prices has gone crazy this year. The average home prices has gone from $266,000 in 2020 to $390,000 in 2021. And I personally had about 15 to 18% appreciation in the markets where I invest. So why is real estate such a good investment? I'm going to show you the best 15 reasons why. Before I jump in, make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to be putting out videos every week to help you achieve financial freedom. And I'm going to share with you all my strategies, accounts and deals so that you can do exactly what I do. So why is real estate the best investment? Reason one, cash flow. It's simple. So when you're looking at a business and you should consider yourself a business, you're looking at the bottom line, how much cash is being brought in by the business. This is something that you can give to banks, lenders, and gives you money to live on and reinvest every month. And you don't have to wait 20 years to get your money out of the stock market to live on it or reinvest. You can do it right now with your cash flow. And cash flow strengthens over time as rents are going up every year and your mortgage stays the same over time. After 30 years, your mortgage is paid up and your cash flow goes up even higher. And this is very good. Zillow has reported that house values have increased 50.7% since 2016. Zillow also predicts that house values is going to increase double digits in 2022. Historically, house values has consistently increased year over year, except maybe for a little blip in 2008. Why is that? Because real estate is a hard asset. People always need a place to live. The cost of replacement and the material necessary to rebuild the house has also increased. So the cost of the house is also increasing. Between March and September 2021, virtually all of the nation's 100 largest cities saw rapid and uninterrupted rent growth. There's never been a better time to invest in real estate. Number three, tax deduction. Many of the expenses associated with the rental properties are tax deductible. That means that property management, interest, insurance, uh, taxes are all tax deductible. You can use a cost segregation study to offset your taxable income, which we're not going to get into right now. Additionally, your appreciation is accumulating tax free. Best of all, the 1031 exchange allows you to sell your property tax free as long as you reinvest it in a rental property in a specific amount of time. Reason number four is financeability. There are very few investments out there where you can put a little bit of money to control a larger asset. And real estate is one of them. With only 20 or 25% down payment, you can control a larger asset and get a mortgage for the rest. It is also a great time right now to lock in your mortgage rate at such a low rate because the interest rates are more likely to go up very soon. Over time, as your property appreciates, you can also refinance your property, get the cash out and reinvest it in another rental property. Can't get financing from a regular bank? There are other options for you. You can get seller financing. That means the seller is actually lending you the money to buy their property. This is actually how I bought my first apartment building by getting seller financing on a portion of the building. Other options include private money lending and hard money lending. Private money lending is basically a private individual that is lending you money and putting a lien on your house. A hard money lender is more of an institutional lender that is uh, lending you money normally for flips and uh, renovations and stuff like that, but could also be used for uh, long term rental properties. Typically, they have points and higher interest rates. Reason number five is limited supply. I mean, we all know that there's just a limited supply of land and property out there that is buildable. And people are also attracted only to certain areas, certain city more than others. On top of that, the pace of home building is significantly slower than the population growth, which pushes the house prices even higher. Over the last 40 years, housing supply hasn't kept up with population growth. Housing as a share of population has decreased 39% from 1980 to 
from 2006 to 2021. Researchers at Freddie Mac estimate that the current shortage of homes is close to 3.8 million, up substantially from 2.5 million in 2018. Things might get better over time, but as you know, it takes a long time to build a house, and with the current supply chain issues that we're experiencing, it might take even longer. So in the next 10 years, it doesn't look like the house prices are likely to go down. Reason number six, inflation hedge. Real estate is a perfect investment to hedge against inflation because it's a hard asset that appreciates over time. And as we talked about earlier, it's also in short supply and it's hard to build. The Bureau of Labor Statistics clocked the inflation rate at 7% as of December 2021. And people believe that the correct inflation rate is actually even higher. So what does this mean? That means that your dollar today is going to be able to buy less next year. 7% less, in fact. So if you, buy, if you were able to buy a house today for $100,000, next year that same house would be worth $107,000 without any other factors involved, just the inflation. As a hedge, real estate is a great asset because it's not directly linked to the dollar. It has intrinsic value because it's a real hard asset and it has a use that people can take advantage of. Reason seven, rents never go down. If you look at the rent trends over the last 20 years, you can see that the rents almost never go down. Rents are up in the US 11.5% in 2021, and they're poised to go even higher in the next few years. If rents go up, so does your cash flow and the numbers get better and better. Reason eight, forever growing demand. Population in the US is growing at 0.7 to 0.9% every year. There's just so much land and every year there's less and less available. People will always need a place to stay, whether they buy a home or rent a home. And that means that the demand is gonna continue to increase as the supply decreases. So with demand going up and the supply being restricted, the house prices is more, are more likely to go up. Reason number nine, a long history of high returns. The average year over year return is 11.1% in real estate investing. The average return on the stock market is about 7%. So already you're beating the stock market. And better than that, if you invest in cash flowing rental property, you get your money every month and you get to reinvest it tax free. I talk to a lot of wealthy and successful people and every single one of them has a portion of their portfolio invested in real estate. And people investing in turnkey rentals can easily achieve between 8 and 12% cash on cash return. What that actually means is that over time, you're doubling your money and you will be able to reinvest and get more cash flow. Reason number 10, this is a physical asset. So a house is a hard asset. It's a real thing that has real use. Because it's a hard asset, it will always be there. It will always have some kind of value that you would be able to leverage or sell to someone else if you need the money. If you invest in the stock market or even in crypto, there's a chance that actually your money could go down to zero. If you own a home, it will always be there. It will always have some kind of value, whether you need to sell it or rent it, it will always be able to give you something in return. Reason 11, great financing option available. If you have low or no credit, you can still get a house. You can get a FHA loan, VA loan, you can also get money from hard money lenders, private money lenders, and other alternative sources. With all these options available to you, there's really no reason why you can't buy a rental property. Reason 12, build equity. Every month that you're paying your mortgage, you're paying down part of the principal, and this is building equity. Equity is an asset that becomes part of your net worth, which means that in the future, if you need it, you're able to sell it or leverage it or borrow against it. When you have a 30 year mortgage, you know that after 30 years, you will own the house free and clear. No matter what, as long as you make those payments, the house will be yours. Even better if you have the tenant paying rent for you, that rent actually goes and pay down your mortgage. And when your mortgage is paid down, your cash flow grow and grow. Reason 13, generational wealth. When you own a property, you can hand it down from generation to generation and in some situation, even tax free. We can talk about it in another episode, but basically if you put the property under a trust, you can easily transfer the asset to your children. If you want to set up your children for life, there's no better way than real estate. Reason 14, REITs. REITs stands for Real Estate Investment Trust. If you're not ready to make the jump directly into real estate investing, you may want to consider investing in REITs. REITs are basically corporations that invest in real estate for you. You can buy public traded REITs on the stock market just like any other stock. 
By law, REITs have to pay out 90% of their profit every year to the investors. So they typically offer more dividends than regular stocks, but generally lower ROI than investing yourself. Reason 15, portfolio diversification. Well, often real estate goes in the opposite direction in the stock market. And the reason for this is that when investors in the stock market are afraid that the market is gonna go down, where do they go? They pull their money out of the stock market and invest in a hard asset like real estate. When the last big market correction happened in 2018, the Dow dropped over 2,000 points in just three trading days. In that same month, housing prices rose by 3.1%. So if you wanna protect your return, it is important to diversify your portfolio in different asset classes. So if you invest already in the stock market, it would be important for you to diversify in real estate. Because of all these reasons, there's no better investment than real estate. It's a direct need from Americans and it will always be. People will always need a place to live and stay. Personally, in the long run, I believe that an investment in real estate will outperform the stock market. That's why I have and will continue to invest in real estate heavily. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and I'm gonna give you all the help you need to invest in real estate. Thank you and see you soon.